up guys it is the next day um, it's been a long weekend working on this thing uh, so haven't been able to finish everything got the car pulled out of the garage basically now I just want to clean out the entire engine bay as you can see it's super dirty super greasy um, I've had a pretty gnarly power steering leak and I think it's actually coming from the rack so um, <laughs> that's probably why it's so dirty I should try to fix that I don't really know where it's leaking from so maybe I'll figure that out but anyway as for now I have some engine degreasers um, and I have simple green and I have purple power so I'm just gonna kind of cake the entire engine bay and all that and let it sit for a few minutes and then I'm just gonna grab the hose and just spray the whole thing down for the oil pan. Brady's back to help. Brady is going through kind of cleaning up some of these bolt holes a little bit getting the, RT, the old RTV out and uh, cleaning the surface a little bit. I'm kind of getting some of this RTV off. Clean this up super well, looking nice. So we're gonna throw this on, RTV it, and let it sit for a little while. Um, and then in the meantime, we're gonna run up to the store, get something to drink. Had a little bit of a close call, dropped one of the bolts straight in. We got it though. My bad. <laughs> All right, got some ultra gray, high torque, RTV, gasket maker, whatever, good for oil. going on guys it has been an entire day and basically we ran into some complications um, that kind of took a day for me to think about what I was gonna do because uh, it's kind of a big damper on the whole swap so basically we had the oil pan off I put the fresh RTV on I put the oil pan back on we put the bolts in the last bolt that I was torquing down the previous owner had put the wrong size bolt there so it was too long and when I had taken it out, I saw the end of the bolt sticking out about a half inch or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay, it must just be loose. I'll torque it down when I put them back in. So as I started torquing it down past the point where it was when I saw it, I just heard a snap and it got loose and I saw a chunk of metal fly off my block. And here's the piece that Brady and I found that blew off right there. Pretty disheartening <laughs> when that happened um, because I just pretty much thought that was it. There's a hole in the side of the block and I'm gonna have to get it welded. I'm gonna have to pull it all apart. The swap is not happening right now. Well, after I kind of talked to a bunch of people, Kyle came home, took a look at it with me. We realized that the hole is actually not all the way through and it doesn't actually go into the block where any oil would be passing. It's literally the outside portion of the threads for that bolt, which is good news. So basically what we're gonna do is take the oil pan back off. We're going to clean out all the old RTV out of the bolt hole. We're gonna put fresh RTV in there, fresh RTV on the bolt, put the bolt back through, JB weld from the outside, RTV over the top, and I think that should be good. All right, if you guys look, this hole right here, that's the one. And if we look from the inside, look, no crack, zoom in. Nothing on the inside of the block, so fingers crossed we're gonna that we're it. good. So you can see light through the hole. There it is right there. One thing we just found out, so yesterday or the other day, remember how I told you guys I saw that the pistons and the rods looked super fresh? 
Well, I looked up the part number, but I just quickly glanced and it said, you know, OE replacement, or I thought it said OEM. Um, but Brian just looked him up again. By the way, you guys remember Brian, he has the white E36, but he's the one who I bought this from. Um, so Brian looked him up and it turns out that those pistons are actually forged aluminum pistons and it's bored over, if, if everything we looked up was correct, it's bored over, what, one millimeter? Yeah. If these are forged pistons, it looks like probably stock rods. That's a super cool upgrade. So, um, and we saw the ARP hardware. I'm hoping maybe it has ARP uh, head studs. So if that's the case, I think we're doing a, we're, <laughs> we're making this SR pretty reliable. Oh, you're doing the wrong side. Kyle's putting this stuff on like weld. Yeah, weld these two surfaces together. No oil leaks. No oil leak, boys. All right, all done. Looks great. Hopefully it's enough. If I have oil leaks, I'll make Kyle do this again. <laughs> oh, watch out. Yeah. Hey, dude. You're guiding Easy. me. Easy. You're guiding yourself. Watch these two front. Oh, my God. Well, there goes all the RTV you had on there. Yeah. All right. So we filled it with RTV. We're gonna put the bolt in. That should kind of seal things from this side. And and see, there should be no oil passage through there. I mean, yeah, no. this is an upward facing bolt with a washer, a bunch of RTV. All right, so while we're waiting for the RTV to set a little bit before we torque everything down, I am going to get started. I bought a fresh stick of JB Weld. This is the putty kind. Um, I did a little bit of research <clears throat> about using JB Weld for like a broken or cracked block or whatever. And basically, I looked this up versus Quick Steel. That was another thing people said to use. And pretty much the results were the putty style between Quick Steel or JB Weld is what I'd want to use um, instead of the, like the two mixture epoxy stuff, just because the putty will kind of take form better. Um, whereas the epoxy stuff is kind of good for like. I don't know. I guess it's just different because it's not as like um, malleable, I guess. So, is that the right word? Malleable? Yeah. Valuable. Very Va valuable. Valuable. valuable yeah. <laughs> if you guys are not familiar with JB Weld, uh, basically you just cut how much you need, you start kneading it in your hands until it's all nice and mixed and it turns into an even color, and then we'll apply. So fancy. All right, here it is. Okay, let's see your kneading skills. Oh, let's not use this edge because this stuff's all dried out. I want fresh, Kyle. This is all dried out, the edge of this. I don't want this. Get did that. The, did get you that. take the sticker off of it? No, I, I didn't even open You just opened it. It was brand new. Dummy. You want me to call Napa? I'll tell them they need to get us a fresh one. They're going to ask you if it's four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, Manual or automatic. <laughs> oh, nice. That's the Does stuff. that feel better? That feels fantastic. Yep. Nice and soft. Very buddy like. What, 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 don't forget that spot. I think you need two hands. See how the black is mixing in with the light gray? And it'll all become a nice, pretty gray. What do you guys think? Leave a comment if you think this is needed enough. Well, it's no. gonna be too late by then. All right, thanks for your comments, guys. We're gonna send it. <laughs> It's not. Stick it in. Do you know what you're doing there, Junior? It's not sending in very well. Oh, it's getting stuck to the RTV from the inside. Good. Mix it all together. More than there it is. We should have really taken off this freaking bracket. Alright guys, oil pan is on. I actually went through with a torque wrench and hit everything to spec, except that one because uh, I just really don't want it. Stop, Kyle. You're on timeout. Go inside. <laughs> Lower pan's done. Wait, 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 wait. The baffle. I don't even know if that's the right direction. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, right there. I hope. Wait, really though? Look at this freaking breaker bar. These are supposed to be 4.7 foot pounds. Brian. Well guys, R.I.P.S.R. Lower oil pan is on, upper one's on and torqued. Waiting on this one to cure a little bit before we snug it down. 
five foot pounds. That's it for tonight. We're going to let this all cure overnight, let that JB weld set in really well. Tomorrow, going in, we're done for tonight. Thank you guys for watching this video. Go hit the subscribe button, follow along. This SR is going in, and I'm doing a freaking burnout in this garage. You better. I'm just Neighbors kidding, my neighbor is. You told YouTube, you have to follow through. All right, we'll see. It's yeah. late, it's almost one o'clock. We're gonna go to bed. Go subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. We're out. Say goodnight, guys. See you. Later.